Hey, wanna see a neat trick? Sure. Neat, huh? Try to find some outlet for those. Negative feelings. Hmm, a 1778 Pony Express general delivery stamp. Not too valuable, but it is uncancelled. Yes, what do you want? Hi there, is this Dr. Fred Edison? Who did you think you called? Dr. Spock? Look, I don't have all day. This is Farley Crock at LucasArts Games. I just discovered your contract among some very old files, and, well, our lawyers say that we uh, have to pay you $2 million in back royalties. Uh, for the use of your family in the Maniac Mansion video game. What? This is Farley Crook. No, I heard that, you moron. When do I get my money? Oh, right now. It's been credited to your Swiss bank account. Operator, get me a travel agent. This is an emergency. Dr. Fred, what do we do now? We have to buy a diamond and plug it into the chronogen. This beautiful 4,000 carat diamond can be yours today for the special rock bottom introductory price of $2 million. The number to call is 1-800-STAR-WARS. Don't miss this amazing once in a lifetime opportunity. Fatty's in the way now. I'd better find a different one.
That's right, an incredible 4,000 carat diamond for the piddling sum of $2 million. That number again, 1-800-STAR-WARS. Wanda will be standing by to take your call. Couch Potato Shopping Channel, Wanda speaking. Uh, I want to buy a diamond. That will be $2 million. Do you have a major credit card? Um, I have a numbered Swiss bank account. What's the number, sir? Um, it's 846-427-35327. Very good, sir. We'll send the diamond by Pronto Post Lightspeed Delivery immediately. Thank you for calling. Now that's service. I better get this to Dr. Fred right away. That should do it. Where did you get this diamond anyway? Uh, it was donated by a group of Girl Scouts who were in the neighborhood. How oh, heartwarming. According to my instruments, everything is in readiness. Your friends have activated their units, so it's time to throw the switch! Great! Bogey! I'm so happy to... Hi! Laverne! Wow! I'm so glad you two made it back okay. I hate to interrupt, but there's no time to lose. Now that you're back, we've got to proceed with the original plan and send you back to yesterday to turn off the sludge o -matic. Huh? Say what? Now hold on a minute, Dr. Fred. They just barely made it back to our time alive, and I think... Ha <laughs> ha! You can't turn off the machine if I get there first. Oh. Don't worry, guys. This time I know I can stop him. Uh-oh. I guess we better do something. Let's go. No, wait! You can't all go in the same store! Didn't you see the fly? Some kind of monster, dudes. Great. Stuck here the rest of my life listening to Bernard talking and watching Hoagie eat. Mom warned me there'd be days like this. Now, wait just a minute. It's Green Tentacle. It's Green Tentacle. What was that green? <laughs> what? I believe he's trying to warn you about me. Oh. We're going to turn off the sludge matic and defeat your evil plan, overgrown worm. You sorry lot are no match for me. But there's three of us. Well, sort of. Nevertheless, I mean to crush you. Yeah? You and what army? Why, this army, of course. Yikes. You see, I've been busy. These are all versions of myself from the future. I've been bringing them back here using the Chronogon. Together, we will conquer the world. You ten there. Go to the basement and guard the sludge matic to touch the sludge matic Now, creature, I must decide what excruciating tortures to... Leave them to me. 
I've been itching for a chance to test out my newly completed Diminuator. Uh-oh. Excuse me. Um, us. <laughs> All right, the rest of you come with me. Next stop, the world. What do we do now? Whoa. It wears off. Aha. Run for it. Damn. The battery must not have had time to recharge, but it will. Maybe he won't find us. You who, where are you, human? Aha. Uh-oh. Take that. And this. Drat. Where'd he go? Turn off the machine and prevent all this tentacle mayhem from ever happening. Well, I'm certainly glad that's over with. Yeah, let's get out of here. Leaving so soon, we haven't had the chance to get to know one another. You humans are so short-sighted. Ha 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 Eek! Run all you like, you insignificant insect. You can't stop me. My other selves are taking over the world as we speak. Just what is it you have against humans, anyway? Humans are our oppressors. They made us live in this horrible motel. They created us in ungainly forms, so we could not rise against them. Try walking around with your legs tied together and glue on your shoes, you'll see what I mean. Sounds like that's all Dr. Fred's fault, really. Hmm, I suppose you're right about that. I didn't start out hating all humans, just Dr. Fred. You're pretty handy with that ray gun. Center of the forehead every time. Would you like a demonstration? Why don't you zap Dr. Fred if you hate him so much? Hmm, perhaps that would be entertaining. 
to Siberia. Our work here is done. Now we can go home. It's been more fun than a jumpsuit full of weasels. Now kindly get your freakish hide out of my home. Please, Dr. Fred, you've got to get us out of this mess. We look terrible, and we can't buy clothes off the rack. I'm getting sort of used to it. Maybe we could go on the talk show circuit. Help us, Dr. Edison. You're our only hope. Oh, all right. Hmm. taken care of. Looks like everything's back to normal. <laughs> 